Hey there, friends, and welcome to Strive for Savvy, where we talk about all things Kajabi marketing and growing your online business. My name is Rebecca Austin, and today I want to talk to you just a little bit about order bumps and order upsells. Now, this week I had the opportunity of attending one of Kajabi's virtual summits where uh, various Kajabi users and heroes get together and we talk about a specific topic and have a chance to, to break out into breakout sessions. If you haven't had an opportunity to enroll for one of those, they're fantastic. It's a great way to, to connect with other Kajabi users. But I say that because during the summit, there were some questions that were posted about order bumps and upsells. So I want to address that just a little bit today to, in case you too have those kind of questions and are not quite sure how best to use them and what are some strategies behind it. Now, personally, um, I find that there are times where the offer upsells are a little overused. So there's so many times where I might be purchasing something online and you purchase for $27. And then the next thing you get is a screen that says, oh, before you go, here's a, 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 you're going to need this. So add another 57. And then before you go, there's another 97. And then there's a 127. <laughs> And that kind of gets a little frustrating for me personally. I'm not a fan of that. I would rather just be tell me what it is that I need and I'm going to buy it. So it kind of depends on your audience on how you want to use that. Now, one of the things that personally I love about Kajabi is that Kajabi does not have multiple upsells. We have two options. There's the order bump and the order upsell, and you have one upsell that you can do. I like that because I think for me and my audience, it's just more streamlined and it makes it much easier to be more strategic and give your clients a lot more value. So what exactly is the difference between an order bump and an order upsell and how do we set that up? And that's what I'm going to talk about with you. Now, the order bump is going to be a, something that goes with naturally what you are currently selling on that particular checkout. Um, so you want to have it where it's not it's not something unrelated or it's not something that's like your upsell where it's the higher priced other thing that that they're purchasing. It's an add on. That's the easiest way to kind of um, approach that. So, for example, let me share my screen here real quick. OK, so this is just an example. This was a summit that we did uh, last year. And um, we had three different tickets that they were selling. And then there's the accessories kit. So the accessories kit, and I actually just kind of created this for the sake of this particular video. We actually didn't do an accessories kit during the summit. But that being said, I wanted to use this as an example. So for example, we had the summit where they could purchase tickets to attend this live event where we had all these speakers. And a, a, a natural and logical upsell would, or order bump, I mean, an order bump would be the accessories kit, where that might be where they get access to um, bonus, like the workbook or some bonus resources or something that would help them with the attendance of the summit. That is, is a logical thing that goes with the order itself. And that, that just logically makes sense. So it's like, oh yeah, do you want just the training or just the attendance on the summit? Or would you like the summit and the workbook and some of the accessories and the bonuses that go along with purchasing and spending this extra order bump? So that's essentially what that is. So let's just say that we go into this, um, this offer. How do we add the order bump? You do have to have a separate offer set up for the bump. So you wanted to create an offer that grants them access to whatever it is that you want them to get access to through that other offer. And that could be for a whole wide range of things. So if it's a workbook, it, you can add that to the automations in the second offer. So if you notice back here, let me jump back here again real quick. We have a whole separate offer that says accessories kit. And we have the price and in there are the automations and everything that goes with delivering that accessories kit. Then to do it as an order bump, what we do is we go into the offer that we want to add the order bump edit checkout because the order bump is located on the checkout itself. 
And then you'll notice that in the, the settings over here, we have an order bump. So what we can do is we can go in here and we add then the, the offer is going to be the accessories kit. Now, what you'll notice is what happens is on the offer, you get this little um, checkbox down here that says, yes, add the Take Charge Summit accessories kit. Now, here's a little side tip for you on this is that it's going to default to say, yes, add, and then the title of your offer. So because this is Take Charge Summit Accessories Kit, that sounds kind of funny. And I'm only using this offer as an order bump. So here's a bonus tip for you is I might go back to the offers. If we go into the Accessories Kit, remember it's going to say, yes, add. So what we might do is put the Take Charge Challenge or Take Charge Summit Accessories Kit. And we could add other text here to this, um, or we could just leave it the way it is and then click save. So now if I go back to the original offer that I want to add the order bump to, click on edit checkout, and then we look at our order bump, you'll see it says, yes, add the Take Charge Summit accessories kit. So it just makes more sense. So that's just a little side tip for you that as we're creating these secondary offers specifically for our order bumps, you can be a little bit more strategic in how you title them. Okay, but if all that shows here is yes, add the Take Charge Summit Accessories Kit, that doesn't really make someone really want to click on it. So Kajabi does allow you to have an, an additional description that we can put in here. So this is where we might want to add some text. And the nice thing is, is that it does allow us all the standard formatting so that we can do bold and italic and change colors and have different formatting and stuff like that that we can do to this box to really grab their attention and let them understand what exactly that they're getting, including the price, because you notice that there's nothing here that says what the price is. So we want to make sure that we're very careful to include a description here that gets as detailed as possible, that builds the value and lets them know what they're getting for this particular order bump to really in, in, encourage them to click that checkbox so that they'll go ahead and add it onto the order. Uh, so that's the order bump. It's one, It's just going to show up on the main page where it gives them an option to click to add to their purchase. And of course, because of that, like I said, we want to make sure that it's something that logically fits together with what it is that you're currently selling. Okay, so the other thing that, is, that um, they were asking about was upsells. So when we're talking about an upsell, an upsell then is after they click complete my purchase, it's the next screen that will pop up immediately following complete my purchase if you create an offer upsell. So if I go over to this offer, this is another one that I have, which is a, it's a small mini course on Kajabi webinars, because it's something that a lot of people, when I do my coaching clients, we get a lot of questions about webinars. Everybody's different on their webinars and most people are doing them wrong or they're approaching them from the wrong perspective and they're not putting a good strategy behind their webinars. And so what we have on this particular program is the, a, a, a webinar tutorial that's just a mini course. So what I've done here is then we have an upsell that goes along after they go. So like if I show you the checkout on this particular page, um, the checkout then does not have any order bump here. It's simply going to have them where they enter their information and complete their purchase. But then the next page, after they go to this particular page, they're going to see an offer to add to their purchase a coaching session with me. So I'll show you what I have this look like. So all we have to do here, and actually, let me take a step back. How do we add this? Um, when you scroll down, you'll have an upsell option and you can, there'll be a drop down box. Um, so for example, if I go to this offer, and um, I'll show you what it looks like when you don't have an offer in there. So on this offer, if we go down to upsell, 
will there will be an option to add an upsell offer and you can click on that and then you'll have a drop down to pick the offer that you want your upsell to be but once we do that we do have to edit it because we can't just add an upsell and then expect it to to work we have to actually click on it and this is going to actually take us then to the upsell editing section um, so we, it's, it's very simplistic, and this is one of the things that um, Kajabi has talked about improving on a potential future update. But for now, what we have on our upsell it has limiting editing capabilities. So what you have is an option to pick what your upsell offer is. Then you're going to put a title, which personally, I add this as my attention grabbing message rather than title. So even though it says here title, I recommend that you let this be like your header attention grabber um, value proposition, then your subtitle and then a description. And the cool thing here is you can do video. Now, I don't have a video for this yet. It's in the works to record one to add in here. Um, but essentially, this just gives you some capabilities to have some. Now, here's a side tip is we can you can create your upsell on say a word document where you have images and different colored text because one of the things you'll notice here is we don't have the option like we do in some other areas on um, deeper editing capabilities like your images or um, your different types of text and that kind of thing so if you want to have a more robust description on your upsell is you can create it in, for example, a Word doc um, or Google Word or Google Docs, and then you can copy and paste. And that works really, really well. So you can add your images and all that fun stuff. Um, and then what you'll do is you can edit your purchase button. You can edit your no thanks or cancel button. Um, and then you can go in here to preview it, which I do recommend you do to make sure everything looks the way you want it to be. But as you can see that when someone purchases the previous offer, what they're going to see is simply just a page that then your title needs to be the attention grabber because that's right up here on the top. And then your video with the price and then their acceptance or no thank you, and then your description. And if it's a longer description, it will actually put the button um, twice. So it actually gives the button up here and then you'll have a button down below as well, which is kind of a neat thing. Uh, so that is when we're setting up our, um, our upsell, then you wanna make sure once you have it set up the way you like it is to turn it on. We wanna activate that upsell. Here's a little side thing to keep in mind though, is that we cannot do upsells on a free offer. So if, you're, if you have a free offer, um, Kajabi doesn't have it set up to where we can do upsells on a free offer. So it does have to be a paid because on the offer is where they're collecting the credit card and all of that kind of information. And then it just tacks that on on top of in the upsell. It's not designed to collect the credit card and the information and stuff like that on the upsell. Um, so if you have a, a low price or a free offer that you're or a free offer that you're wanting to do an upsell, I might consider or recommend that you make that into a low price, like a one dollar or five dollar or seven dollar or something like that. And that way then you can do your upsell if you wanted to do that instead. So that in a nutshell is just um, a little bit of information about the order bumps and upsells, when you would use them, how you would use them, all of those kind of things. Um, but I wanted to at least get a quick video out to you to show you some of the basics so that you know exactly what is available to you, how to set it up. You can kind of get in there, experiment, have some fun with it but always be thinking about it from an end goal in mind. What is the end goal that you want your clients to, to reach? What journey are you taking them on and, and where do you wanna take them? And that helps you to kind of back create everything from a client flow perspective. If you have any questions about order bumps and upsells and how to put this all together, be sure to put that in the comment section below. If you are serious about growing your online business, I will welcome you to subscribe to my channel because we do put tips out there all the time from strategies to Kajabi tips to all kinds of different things out there to help you with growing your business. If you would like some one-on-one -on -one time with me, I do offer coaching and consulting sessions as well as done for you services. So check all that out on my website at striveforsavvy.com.
Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next video.